Now, there are many who believe that fasting um, is beneficial to testosterone levels. And now many men are now practicing fasting as part of their regime, myself included. But my reason for fasting, I do an intermittent fast every now and again, is to keep in touch with real hunger. I'm not really doing it with um, testosterone purposes in mind. However, there is a lot of evidence to suggest that fasting can indeed be beneficial to testosterone levels. But the problem is, is there is a lot of conflicting evidence. And but the conflicts in this evidence are consistent. So allow me to explain. Now, first of all, um, based upon various studies, fasting has been shown to reduce chronic inflammation and to reduce oxidative stress, which are both harmful to testosterone levels. Now, a 1989 study found that short-term intermittent fasting, now this particular study was based upon one single fast of 56 hours in duration, and they found that luteinizing hormone increased by up to 67%. And the testosterone response, i.e. the direct effects of that one fast, resulted in testosterone increases of 180%. That's something to bear in mind. But this is not consistent over time. This is based upon just that one fast. Fasting has also been shown to increase human growth hormone by up to 2,000%. This was shown after a short 24 hour fast and of course human growth hormone is um, of benefit to any guy who's working out and looking to increase muscle mass in another fast study it was shown observing a 20 hour fast that there was a significant reduction in insulin production and a correlating reduction in insulin sensitivity we all know that insulin sensitivity can be harmful to testosterone and can lead to uh, the development of diabetes. But there's conflicting studies. Um, now, one study in involving lean, young, active men, there was a decline in testosterone levels on its intermittent fasting. And some studies suggest that prolonged intermittent fasting, which is where there's this new diet where people observe a 16 hour fast every day and consume all of their calories within an eight hour window. Now in a study observing eight weeks of this practice in resistance trained men, it was shown that it resulted in decreases to testosterone levels, something to bear in mind. Longer term intermittent fasting has um, also been shown to see decreases to testosterone and this kind of is consistent in a lot of studies. Now, during one study of observing Ramadan, however, which is a prolonged intermittent fast, taking place for a full cycle of the moon, which is approximately one month, um, involving 46 men, 38 of those men showed significant increases to testosterone, which kind of conflicts the other evidence. And that is um, the end game of this. Evidence is conflicting. But what is consistent is that good results have been shown consistently in short-term intermittent fasts. So maybe the best approach is to carry out an intermittent fast one, one time per week, uh, as I do myself, and this seems to produce the best results. If you want to optimize your testosterone levels and keep them elevated as you grow, grow older, fasting will be beneficial to you simply because it's gonna reduce chronic inflammation, reduce oxidative stress, and help to keep your insulin resistance under control in the long term. Subscribe to this channel and follow this series for more.